Hello, YouTubers. This is a new session where I get to talk to you about something super exciting. It's something called IPC or inter-process communications. Inter-process communication is something that are already embedded and being used in some of the most of programs that you might be using, like, you know, Discord, Zoom, Slack, you know, Spotify, you know, it's being used everywhere, even in TensorFlow for people that are playing around with AI, you know, there's IPC embedded in it, which is inter-process communications. But what is it? What is exactly and what is the purpose of it? Let me kind of show you real quick here what I'm talking about, and maybe you'll find this interesting. So assume that you have an operating system. And this operating system has two programs like this. It has the, you know, the um, a Python program, a program that's written in Python and a program that's written in C sharp. And you basically want these guys to talk to each other. Operating systems offer something out of the box, that kind of red guy at the bottom, that's called the communication channel or a named pipe. And this named pipe, what it basically allows you to do is that it allows these programs to kind of connect with each other and talk to each other in a very seamless, again, production ready way. It's being used everywhere. But how does it really work? Like in reality, like I want to use this today, how complex it may be, because this sounds complex. It sounds like I need to know about the operating system. I need to know like what the protocols are and whatnot. No, it's not really that hard. Let me show you what that looks like. Here is a quick C sharp program. I'm going to go ahead and say using var pipe. We're just going to connect to a pipe new named pipe. Watch this. This comes out of the box named pipe client stream. What this does basically is that it's literally system IO.pipes. And what it's going to do for you here is that it's going to go and allow you to kind of, you know, connect to a pipe, right? So if the server is this dot, I'm going to say demo pipe. You can, you can name that pipe, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Um, and basically I'm going to go ahead. So you have a pipe. I'm going to connect to that pipe, just as simple as that. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a stream reader and writer. So using var writer. So here's a stream writer and then, uh, uh using var reader. So this is going to read what's coming into that pipe. So, so far, so good. I'm going to give you a little bit of room here for people on their cell phones. Connected to the pipe, creating the pipe, connecting to the pipe. And then lastly, I just want to kind of get messages, you know, from the user and send it to the server and back. So basically, I'm going to go here and say, all right, so here is console, right line, uh, enter message. And then here is the message, console read line like that. And then that message that I sent, I want to send it to the pipe. So writer, so see that writer in here, it already knows about that pipe. So you don't have to do anything. All I have to do here is just say writer, write line, send the message and it knows. And then I'm going to go ahead and say, I want to print the response, right? So here's console, write line, give me the response. The reader is also connected to the pipe. So when the pipe receives a response, you are able to read that response and kind of print it out. So Server, I will say server response like this. Let's do string interpolation here. Server response like this. There you go. That's much better. Here we go. Like that. Okay. So super easy, you know, super easy and simple. 20 lines of code, give or take, right? So you have connecting to the pipe. Here's the pipe. I'm going to go ahead and create a reader and writer and listen in to messages that are going back and forth between these two systems. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and write the server side of it. Believe it or not, you know, dear C-sharp developers, you can actually create a Python file and run the Python file right from your Visual Studio. Uh, I'm going to say, I don't know, pipe server.py. There you go. And I think I have the code written somewhere. Here it is. Here. There's your, here's your Python code right here. And essentially the same thing. I have a message handler and I'm initializing a pipe server and then I'm connecting to the pipe. The exact same thing I just did. It's just a different programming language. And then when a message is received, here's a message. I'm going to go ahead and process that message. And then I'm going to create my own response and then send that response to that pipe over the wire. No magic. This main is like the main. It's like when you do main like that in C sharp, right? So no problem there. <clears throat> Well, let's start that guy. So let's go and run this guy in an unbuffered. Well, first of all, I'm going to run the client. Here's the client right here. The client is just stale because there's no pipe. There's nothing going on, right? Oh, you can't see that. Let me kind of share the whole, the whole window for you. You can see. There you go. That's much better. There you 
go. All right, there's nothing going on here, but I'm going to go ahead and start that server in a second. So I'm going to go here and say, well, let's see, let's see if we're in the right place. CD pipes demo. I'm going to go and say Python. You um, uh, Python pipe pipe demo server like that. And I'm running it unbuffered. So now as soon as I started this, you'll notice this this message here appeared, right? This enter message here appeared. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Can you zoom in a little bit? Maybe can't? Okay. Now I'm gonna just type a message for you here. I'm just gonna go ahead and say hello from C sharp. Boom. I got the response and then I have the Python response. See, that's the Python received. I'm a server. I received your response and I'm doing something with it. You can literally do anything with that. Like anything you can imagine in the world, you can do it with that. You can connect, you know, completely do different systems to each other, call methods inside the server, and then get a response back. You can treat it the same way you treat anything. Now, my some people, and I know the first impression that especially senior engineers are going to think, we're like, well, can't I just stand, you know, two HTTP servers and have them talk to each other? Well, you know, you're not really remotely talking to do different systems. Uh, the systems that you're running might not always be easy to kind of stand up as an HTTP server. You're kind of opening your device. And if you're producing this and, you know, putting this out there in an app service or a, um, I don't know, some, like a governed environment, whatever that environment may be that doesn't allow you to stand up servers in it, you're going to hit a limitation. Uh, you shouldn't use remote when you're not remote. You know, you shouldn't be you know, doing remote communications between two different systems when they're sitting right there on your local machines, especially if you're developing apps for local usage, that would be the best approach for that. But more importantly, more important than all of this is just think about the possibilities and the ability to be able to connect different processes, different programs, everything in completely different programming language. Even if they're written in the same language, you just want to communicate between these two systems. You know, this is your way of doing that. You can put a wrapper around this for IPC, have it send and receive messages and exposure layer and keep your core business logic intact. Um, I hope this just kind of give you some ideas to create amazing things and new things. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. I'm gonna drop the, the links to this really tiny code for you here in the description. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy hacking, take care.